It'll surely be a night for cool heads at the Planet Ice MK Arena, although the heat is on the Milton Keynes Lightning players to ensure their cup final hopes aren't frozen out. Not that they'll struggle to warm to the task with big rivals Peterborough back in town. Back in the days of the Kings, I believe it was, you know, it was, it was live then as well, and um, they basically, it's, it's never faded away, and it just keeps growing stronger, if anything, um, and it always brings the best out of both teams. The view shared by those in the Peterborough Phantoms camp, including Dan Lane, Alice Padalek and Scott going, Robson. I know the fans love it as much as the players do, um, but like it's big for us. We've got a few guys who have played for MK in the past and they now dislike MK, so it's got everything you want in a cup tie. It's advantage Phantoms from the first leg, although they trailed to this goal in the first period, they turn the game around to win 2-1. Yes! There's a power play goal for the Phantoms! Winning on aggregates over two legs, however, no longer applies in this competition. The Lightning have to win it outright to keep the tie alive. If they do win that, the game goes into overtime. Anything less, and the trophy goes to the Phantoms. But the win-or-bust scenario excites the Lightning's head coach. I sometimes think it's better going into that situation knowing you have to win. We can play a bit desperate and uh, make it an exciting night. I think we're going to be ready. I think there was a few things said, so uh, I don't really need to do much of a team talk, I don't think. I think the guys are up for it. I can feel it already. Are you able to contain, do you think? I think we can contain and uh, maybe it's everything about first goal, but we need to just start well and play our tactics. 60 minutes, that's what stands between the Phantoms and a third British Premier League Cup, while the Lightning target their first under the current franchise in Milton Keynes.